Hello, I'm Mark Green with Ken Bar. I'm here in our test high tunnel to uh, introduce you to our line of high tunnel and greenhouse vents. Uh, each type of vent we have here, nice lightweight, sturdy aluminum. Uh, we have two different types. We have our smaller vents that wiggle wire right into your greenhouse plastic. No need to frame them up. And we also have our larger vents that are three and four feet. Uh, these vents are made right here in America. They said they're lightweight, uh, dependable. They all feature this handy little uh, opener on them. It's an automatic vent opener, no electricity needed. They can be adjusted with just a turn of the screw on here to uh, regulate at what temperature the vents open up at. We'd like to uh, show you how each one of these are installed as they're easily installed in minutes. Our next segment here of the video, uh, Kyle Adams will be showing you how to install both types of vents. Hello, this is Kyle from Kenbar and I'm here today to talk to you about the Kenbar High Tunnel Vent System. This particular unit is available in uh, four sizes. There's a 12, an 18 inch, a 24 inch, and a 30 inch frame. This is an all aluminum vent here with an automatic heat sensitive opening mechanism. Uh, so as the temperature in your high tunnel uh, begins to climb, this opener will automatically open these vents and allow for cooling. As the temperature in the greenhouse begins to fall, springs will return these vents to the closed position. So once you have this set, it's fully automatic. You don't have to come out and monitor this throughout the day. Uh, it's also uh, equipped with an override cable, so if you did need to open it in a, in a hurry, you could pull on this cable here and uh, tie it off, and that would keep it open. And also, this is removable, so if you wanted these to stay closed or take this in for the, uh, for the winter season, it's removable. You can leave the vent installed, take the opener inside. Now we're going to show you how you install your Kenbar high tunnel vent using the wiggle wire system uh, in, your, in your greenhouse. Uh, you can see I've got a helper. He's holding the vent up against the film from the outside uh, so we can get our position correct. And then what we're going to do is we need to make a slit in the film so that we can uh, hold onto the plastic and attach our, our wiggle wire here. Uh, so what I like to do is just use a marker and make an X going from roughly corner to corner diagonal there. Uh, the idea here is that you don't want to cut this uh, opening too large because once uh, once you've cut this film there's no going back uh, so um, go uh, just a little bit smaller than you think you need and you can always make it a little larger as you go to to fully frame this out uh, so now that we've got our x marked here i'm just going to take the a knife and and make a slit in my film and we'll go this way and as you can see this is a two-person job so somebody can hold that for you while you get the size correct here. Uh, so now you can see I've got my flaps made and I'll be able to hold on to this film so that I can keep the plastic taut as I install my wiggle wire. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do some of that now. All right, now that we've uh, marked our location and we've cut our uh, greenhouse film, I've started and I've gone ahead and I've installed uh, three pieces of the wiggle wire lock to, uh, to lock this film in here. And we'll show you here so you can get a better idea of what we're doing. The reason we cut the slit is so that we can pull on this film to keep it taut as we install the wiggle wire. So you get, it, uh, get your wire started at one end of the frame here and then you just work it back and forth. And what you're doing is you're pushing the film down into that base and you'll hear a snap as it pops in. Uh, keep moving along, pull your film taut, moving it in, moving it in. When you reach the end here, you can trim this off, uh, use a pair of uh, wire cutters or something there. Uh, so now all four sides are, uh, are locked in place. You'll just go ahead and you'll trim these flaps up to the inside corner of your, uh, of your vent there. Um, then your next step would be to install your opener. And we'll show you how to do that real quick. Very simple, this whole process takes less than 10 minutes with the right help if you've got a good set of hands on uh, two ladders. So now what we're going to do, we'll show you, this uh, just installs with uh, one, one, uh, one bolt here. It's, it's very, very straightforward. Your uh, mounting bracket is on your top, uh, top arm of your frame. You're just going to put the legs in, that'll snap into position and then you're going to extend your arms down and using the hardware provided we just attach it to the center vein here very very simple and then if you choose to use the uh, manual cable you're just going to loop that around the arms of your uh, the arms of your opener so that you can pull this opener from the ground not have to come up here to do that line everything up and then we're just going to tighten it down with the nut provided and now keep in mind you'd have your film trimmed out of the way here and then the next step is just to adjust your opener to get it to uh, open these vents at, uh, at the correct temperature for your application. 